here at the Fort Totten station. We're getting our first look at two prototypes that Metro is rolling out to make things harder for fare evaders. You can see here on this gate right here, they've got these half circles, which in theory is going to make it harder for folks to plant themselves down and then jump over the gate. Then off in this wooded area, you can see the other style, saloon style doors, a little bit harder for people to jump over. These are just prototypes right now, and Metro says if they work, you could see them at more stations. The majority of riders paying to go through, but in the hour we were at the station, we did see several people who either hopped or slid through the gates. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> These young guys, they, they can jump over that easy. Tyrone Spears tells me it can be frustrating to see people hop over. You know, I feel like I pay every day. I feel like everybody else needs to pay every day. Others were impressed by the new gates. Amazing. They look nice. It'd be tougher to jump over? Yeah, I think so. The gate testing comes as Metro is really ramping up its enforcement. Since November 1st, the agency has issued 35 citations, all of those coming in either Maryland or Virginia where the fine is $100. In the district, the agency can only issue a citation if it arrests a fare evader for trespassing, something Metro's GM says they don't want to have to do. But he says an increased presence of Metro police officers has led to fewer people hopping the gates. There is never a perfect gate. If we want to have a gate, there will never be fair evasion. It's called a wall and we won't run service. In a presentation during a Metro board meeting, GM Randy Clark discussed the pros and cons of the new gates. We're looking for feedback and data and to see what these actually uh, result in. This isn't to say this is the final end state. For now, these gates are only at the Fort Totten station. Metro didn't specify how long this testing phase will last. In the district, Mauricio Casillas, News 4. Now, Metro estimates that it has lost $40 million to fare evasion in the 2022 fiscal year.